everyone and welcome to my channel lilies and blush my name is suzanne and thank you so much for joining me for this haul video we i'm so excited because this is a brand new to me shop and it is called twin city art scents and they are based in winston-salem north carolina i believe they used to be in hawaii um from what i could tell from their previous things um so i'm just unraveling so this is their scent sheet of all of the scents and this in front of you is a one ounce sampler of every single scent that their shop offers so we will be going through my thoughts on every single scent um i was so excited because i already had a whole bunch of stuff from them in my cart and i was kind of like okay i'll buy like five things and take a chance and just try them out um, and then I saw that they had this and you could get every single scent and it was like perfect and I can decide which ones I like and then order more of those. So this is their normal packaging though. Like they do um, bags and so like I think you can get four ounce and eight ounce bags um, are the two different sizes you can buy and they are like relatively ch not cheap really but like they're, they're a good price um, for how much you're getting and everything and the scent strength I will get to that. Um, and then they're, they're like this, they're like brittles or whatever. So they're, um, like, or chunks and stuff in, I think, yeah, I think they're more chunky, at least from the pictures, it looks more chunky. Obviously I only have the one ounce bags and some of them have, um, I think they, they are, they're more like this, like more chunky, like chunks of, of it so that you can continue to, to cut down. Some of these are older, I think is why, um, they're more like brittly and stuff or more broken up, but I think it's definitely more like a chunk kind of situation for um for them now for what they do for currently um but all of these are available like I said uh currently in their shop so I'm gonna go through them oh so like I said so they also sent me on the back of my notice which I won't uh show you um is their scent list for every single one so I'll use this because some of them have the scents listed and some of them don't Again, I think it's the, the older ones do and the younger ones, the younger ones, the, the newer ones don't. Um, and then also I do want to say like already I gave them five out of five on customer service because as soon as I ordered this, he messaged me and was like explained a whole bunch of things to me like about giving them some time, making sure that when I take them um, out, when I receive it, like, oh, that it's shipping. He's like, okay, it's going to ship. Um, I've got it going already like it'll be it should be to you by this day and it was it was here um Tuesday I'm not filming this um no it was here Monday actually I think it was actually here earlier than he he said originally to me that um it was going to be here and so that was awesome and then um they like communicated really well and then yeah give me like a lot of advice about wax in general so if I was like a new person completely to wax it, he fully explained a lot of stuff um and everything and then talked about how the scent list should be in the box and then um said that uh oh the listing says 33 cents but there's actually 34 and like just all this information really responsive to anything that I responded back to him about and it was great like I absolutely loved it great customer service already so there we go um so yeah let's get started so first we'll start with my garden my solitude I think this was one that I liked kind of um so we'll see so it's notes of anise cedar eucalyptus green flora mint powder rosemary sage spearmint and tomato leaf I think this was the one I didn't like no okay so see now it smells a little different like a little bit it just smells really kind of kind of planty but then you are getting the minty the like eucalyptus spearmint smell Oh, this smells, this definitely smells better, almost, I think, than, maybe this, maybe it was a different one that I, there was one that was very plant mattery, and I'm just not a very, like, earthy, earthy person, um, like, it literally smells like the earth, uh, but I'm getting a lot more florals in this one, this time, it does smell like a garden, it does, like, I like that, but you definitely are getting the minty, like, oh, wow, that was heavy. You're definitely getting the minty in there. Um, so that was a good one. Okay, next we have Dang. This one is, I believe, also considered 
Is it considered a earthy scent? Oh yeah, there it is at the very top. I'm missing it. All right, dang, with notes of amber, bay leaf, cedarwood, ginger, musk, and sandalwood. This was one I was excited. Or this was one of the ones I was gonna buy because the scent notes sounded really good. Mm, and it is, it is so, oh my gosh. Oh, smells so good. Mm, so, so good. So some of these, I think, also had dates on them. I don't think we've had one yet. Uh, oh, no, there we go. Yep, poor date was 3-7-2022. So um, he did, like, you know, advise waiting you know, a little bit after the date and, like, giving these time and, um, like, separating them all out so they can all aerate. So maybe that also was part of it, too, why some of these scents have smelled a little differently this time is, like, giving them more space from each other. But, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Mm, so good. So, so good. Definitely a fave. Definitely want a big container of that. Okay, we'll do a sweet one. So here's Scoop. Uh, scoop, there it is. There we go. Okay, pour date was 322, and it says use after April 5th. So I love that, that they gave us a use after date. Because sometimes I'm like, wait, so do I wait a week, two weeks, three weeks? Um, so I love that, that there's a use after date. So now I know as long as these were all poured around that same date, that that should be when I, when I use them, which is great because that's probably is, I'll do, oh, it's already past April 5th. So that's fine. <laughs> um, so I can use them right away if I want, which is awesome. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. So this one, I think this is the one that had cheesecake in it, maybe or something. Uh, let's see. Scoop. Okay, with notes of banana, caramelized, caramelized sugar, peach, lactonic, sweet, honey, and vanilla. Okay, that's what I'm smelling is a peach and banana. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my god, that's so sweet, but not super crazy sweet. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. That was really yummy. As much as like I lately I have been tired of bakery scents, I'm still super and like I still love them to death. I'm just like kind of like bakery sweet scents. I'm like I have so many of them though that I feel overwhelmed by them. So I was trying, that's actually how I found the shop is I was trying to find some more like earthy, like tropical-y, floral-y, fruity scents that weren't just bakery sweet scents. Um, but that's, then I got the sampler because I was like, well, I just want to try them all. Cause what if I really love one of their bakery scents too? And you know, get to try more than just five, right? For a really good amount. So yeah. Uh, then we have tobacco shop. So this is poured back in, Jan excuse me, back in January. So definitely ready to use. Um, and that one is a clean earthy scent with notes of tobacco leaf, cognac, cherry and vanilla mm. Ooh, i like this too i don't know how to describe it it's very clean scent like i would agree it's a clean earthy scent that's a really perfect way to describe this clean earthy i i like that i do I don't think my husband liked it very much because it's not what he was expecting. He was expecting like a cigar smell. And I'm like, no, it's a tobacco shop smell. Like it, it actually more smells like, again, I think I've said this about another scent too, that like Bridgerton, you know, or like that era they had like smoking rooms or whatever, or, like the men's area where they went to go drink their, their cognac and, or drink their, their, you know, alcohol or whatever and smoke their cigars. Like that's what that room would smell like, I feel like. Um, and then we have Sexy Surfer, another one that I think I was going to uh, purchase before I grabbed this sampler. And um, Sexy Surfer is, where are you? Ah, there you are. Uh, brings to you rich notes of coconut, sweet notes of mango, and woody notes of sandalwood. It's a sexy scent that's sure to please. Mm, it is very like man like I'm definitely smelling the coconut and mango. Mm. And then there's that underlying sandalwood smell. 
Mm, but I'm definitely getting a lot of coconut mango. And this is what I was looking for. Like something with like a little bit of musky and then still sweet and yummy with the coconut mango, but like fruity yummy. Um, just want to have spring vibes, spring and summer vibes is what I'm looking for. I'm, I'm kind of getting bored with fallish, heavy, bakey scents, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then we have Plumeria, a sweet tropical floral is what it says on the package. This is one of the ones I was picking up a lot. Um, yep, it's under the floral scent notes and it's Plumeria found in many places can also be found growing on the island of Hawaii. Often worn in lace for their beautiful fragrance and color. Top notes of green leaves, guava, middle notes, plumeria, jasmine, garden, gardenia, base notes, powder. It's a sweet and ju juicy floral ben blend. Oh, okay, I see. Top notes of green leaves and then and guava. And then middle notes of plumeria, jasmine, gardenias. And then the base notes is powder. Uh, it's a sweet and juicy floor, but okay. I read, was reading that really oddly. I was like, what? Mm, this does smell super good, too. Mm, very floral, but, like, there's also a sweet note to it. Oh, I really like this one a lot. Like, this is going to be a great bathroom sense. All of these are probably going to melt in the bathroom because they are, like, already chopped up into smaller pieces that are perfect for my small bathroom. But I might, I might use some of them. Like, the dang, I feel like I could use this, like, in one go inside my bedroom. And it would be perfect because that's a smaller space as well. Um, and so, like, that's a perfect amount for that. So, I, I feel like these are well, well useful. Um, and then we have Mandarin Tiki. Uh, this one's used after 4.11, so I'll have to wait to use this one a little bit longer. But Mandarin Tiki is under Fruity, of course, and it's a blend of berries, mandarin rind, red currants, palm leaves, musk, and watercress. Ooh, there's musk. Ooh, I don't remember this one. Oh, I think I do, I do. I remember the mandarin being really strong. Oh, yeah. Whew, that is straight up orange. That definitely smells light. Did they mention mandarin rind? Yep orange peels mandarin rind like that's oh so good though oh my gosh i'm excited to smell this and tr maybe see if the rest of that comes out because i'm definitely just smelling mandarin but that's fine it's mandarin tiki you know it's what i expected now atomic fireball this is the kind of cinnamon scent i don't enjoy so this is not my favorite and this one's actually two ounces are any of the others two ounces? Yeah, this one's actually two ounces, apparently. Uh, but maybe maybe not, though. Maybe it's just one. And it was a misprint on there or something. Or I'm reading the... No, that says two ounces, huh? So, um, Atomic Fireball is, of course, uh, under the... Where are you? Uh, it is under the Bakery Sweet Scent. Notes of cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, sugar, and wood. Heavily scented soy wax melts. Get your melt on. Oh, yeah. 100% smells like red gum or like an atomic fireball. Like, it's not too bad. It's just it really is cinnamon, like hot red cinnamon smell. So, it's not like something I enjoy, like I love, but I don't mind it either, and my husband is obsessed with it, so that'll be definitely for him. I'll milk that one of the days that he's home all day, um, and we're, at, I'm at work. So, then we have Tropical Tranquility, and I, I think maybe this one is the one, um, Anise Bamboo Coconut, coconut milk, green flora, green leaves, palm, pineapple, spearmint, sugar, and sage. Yeah, this one, but again, it's got that plant life smell, but then you're getting the other scents with it. I wonder if it's the anise. Maybe I don't like anise. Because I think I've had anise in other things and I didn't like it either. But I don't hate this. Like, I'll probably, I'll still melt it for sure. But I'm, and I'm getting the pineapple and the coconut. I'm just also getting plant life, like earth, earth like dirt <laughs> smell and I just don't love that smell so I, I think it's the anise because that's definitely the 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 one thing that I 
I, I think I remember smelling it before and feeling the same way about it. So, uh, Wild Berry Jalousi, I think is how that says. Another two ounce one. Um, and that one is, where are you, Wild Berry? I'm thinking this is one of the... Um, where are you, Wildberry? Oh, huh. I don't see it on here. I wonder if this is the 34th one. And it's new, maybe it's newer and that's why I'm missing it. On the sheet? Yeah, it's not on this sheet at all. Okay. But I remember really liking this one, despite the fact that it's, I don't know what the scent notes are. It definitely smells really berry. I would definitely have said it smells like a pie. Like a mixed berry pie. I'm, I know there's like a name for that, but like, it definitely smells like a, like a wild berry pie. Like a, I don't know what Jalousi is, but it looks yummy. Like it looks like a pie too, in a way. So yeah. That one's pretty good though. Uh, and then we have Guava Splash, which is of course under Fruity. And it's a tropical blend of guava, orange, papaya, peach, strawberry, and violet. This smells so good, you'll wanna eat it. Please do not. <laughs> I love that. Mmm, this is sweet. It's nice, oh yeah. Very, like just subtle, sweet, fruity smell. I love it. Okay, and then we have Pua Kenny Kenny. I'm, I could be saying this totally wrong and I apologize for that. Um, and this grown on the island of Hawaii is a white to yellow orange flower. It is a strong fragrance, often worn in lace. The top notes are orange oil, pineapple, mid, or pineapple. And the mid notes are peacocky peacock, flowers. I, again, I'm probably absolutely butchering that. Gardenia, tuberose. Uh, tube rose and clove and the base notes are fir needle pine this fragrance is meant to and does bring the wonderful scent of pua kenny kenny into your home again i'm probably saying that totally wrong Build some all over myself. This smells really florally and amazing. I'm not like the most fond of floral scents. My husband does love them, um, but I like this. It's nice, nice floral. Uh, and then we have the peacocky, peacock, peacock. Uh, and this is the scent of the this <laughs> beautifully fragrant tropical tropical flower, traditionally grown on Hawaii Island for its creamy white colored flowers for Hawaiian lei making. So I love. I love the lay theme. Like, I always wondered what the flowers on a lay, like a real lay, smell like. So, oh, this smells so beautiful. It's a very clean floral scent. I love it. It will definitely make a perfect bathroom or laundry room scent. Like, 100% love that a lot. Okay, and then we have Sanctuary. And Sanctuary is rosemary, sage, eucalyptus, cedar, and pine. It's under the earthy. Uh, category it comes off the top as Christmas because of the pine and then you get into the middle which is a beautiful rosemary and green flora blended with the base of cedar and sage make your space a sanctuary for the mind body and soul mm, it definitely is coming off very Christmas but I am getting those other notes they talked about and it's it does smell really beautiful but very very strong in the um, pine Ooh, very strong in the pine. So I'm really interested to melt this and see what really comes out. Oh, wow. That was strong. Okay, big comfy sweater. Another earthy one. Uh, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. Is big earthy sweater not on here? I don't see it. No, Big Comfy Sweater's not on here either. So I think that's just um, missing off of this list. Um, so yeah. Mm, it smells really clean. 
like another kind of like laundry clean set. I do really like this though. I really do. Okay. And then we have creme brulee donut. Yes. Uh, and this is benzoin, buttercream, caramelized sugar, coconut, confectioner sugar, custard, fried dough, granulated sugar, maple, pastry flour, rum, sweetened milk, vanilla, and vanilla glaze. That literally just sounds like the ingredients to a creme brulee donut. Oh, it smells so yummy. I love the caramel buttery smell. Oh, it's so buttery and delicious. Oh, I love that so much. It must be that like vanilla maybe with like definitely the caramelized sugar. And the maple. I think it's also like that maple vanilla. Like oh, this is so good, guys. This is so amazing. Okay, and then another one. Do, do not get me started. I love that. <laughs> Uh, and this is this warm glazed donut wax milk combines buttercream, confectioner sugar, fried dough, granulated sugar, pastry flour, sweetened milk, and vanilla glaze to bring you this yummy scent. Literally, again, the ingredients of a donut. Oh, it smells so yummy. There's kind of like a cream cheese vibe to it, too. Like cheese, not cheesecake exactly, but like, I know that's just what came to mind. It's like a very like cakey donut. It's, oh, it smells so good. All right, and then we have Troppy Pop, which is of course fruity, cherry, dried plums, melon, orange, orange blossom, raspberry, vanilla, and violet. Oh, that smells super yummy. Mmm. Yeah, definitely tropical like just deliciousness fruity deliciousness okay pineapple sage uh when i think about hawaii the first fruit that comes to mind is pineapple it's on everything blended together with the oddest of things sage the sweetness of pineapple with the rich aroma of sage makes this fragrance uniquely amazing one of our most sought after scents some say it's sexy mm. oh wow oh jesus i've just dropped everything everywhere oh gosh one second A bunch of it just like fell out of the bag as I was trying to smell it. Ugh, okay, so mm, that smells really interesting. Like I would say it's almost like a sexy smell with the sage and the pineapple. Like they, the sage is brought down a bit by the pineapple, but it's still kind of strong and it does kind of smell like cologne almost. It's very interesting. I cannot wait to actually melt that. So there we go. In my giant pile I'm making over here. All right, then we have a tropical twister. And that is, are you on the list? Mm, not on the list. So another one, not on the list. Okay. Mm, that smells sweet. Another fruity scent, I think. Mm, I'm very intrigued by that. Yeah, but it says don't melt until the 15th. So I still got quite a few days. It's not super strong, but I am getting sense, hints of like, um, trop, like fruity for sure. So the tropical fruity kind of smell. Um, we have Island Delight. Let the aroma of Island Delight whisk you away to the island with your toes in the sand, drinking a delightful island cocktail. That is Island Delight with notes of pineapple, orange, and coconut. This scent is sure to excite your senses. Mmm. Oh, I love that pineapple smell. Mmm. Yeah, you can definitely get the coconut too. Very good. Definitely an island delight. Okay, now we have hot buttered maple syrup. And I'm excited about this one because it was so deliciously amazing. And you guys, I've been obsessing over it. So if you've been watching my videos, you know how much I've been obsessed with anything that makes me think of like pancakes, waffles, like anything like that. I've been obsessed. So there's this one, of course. I don't have the fire notes for it, but oh my gosh. It literally just smells like exactly hot buttered maple syrup. Like it's just, it's oh, so good. I need to put it down. It's making me freaking hungry. Okay. Zucchini bread. Yes. So you can buy literally eight ounce giant chunks 
of zucchini bread and this zucchini bread scent is so yummy and delicious it's not like mm, it's not like overly yeasty but it just smells like mm, it just smells like fresh baked bread it's so good i could definitely mix this with any of like the fruity or other like sweet ones and it would just heighten it oh so well like i just i love this like oh that's so good. I can just smell it forever. Okay. Then we have Salted Rims Sandy Toes. And this one is this one of ours with top notes. Orange, pineapple, and benzoin. Middle notes of coconut, melon, and sandalwood. Blended with base notes of rum, vanilla, cedar, tonka, and amaranth. will bring you to the beach. I'll bring to you beach and tropical cocktails. So get those rims salted and those toes in the sand. Mmm, this is so good. This was another one of the ones I was going to order um, on on its own. <sighs> Sorry, I can just like clear out my nose a little bit. <laughs> oh, this smells so yummy. I love, seriously love these like tropical vacation-y kind of smells. It's just so good. Okay, and then we have Ocean Mist Moonbeams. This was another one I was excited about it's one of the reasons i actually found this shop is i was specifically looking for scent notes with this one so let me see i think it's on here or is it not on here oh no there it is okay lavender oak moss vetiver and dark moss that dark must and the ocean mist and moonbeams has a very earthy and aquatic appeal so i was just looking for that like oceany smell and Oh, this smells like a sexy man. And I absolutely love it. To death. Oh my gosh. So delicious. Okay, and then we have the Wonderfully Wooded Way Home. And this is notes of amber, amorous, coriander, dark moss, lavender, sandalwood, and vetiver. And I love those. Oh, another sexy man. Oh. This smells so good. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to melt these. Seriously, like, and the scent notes are really strong. There's only been one, this Tropical Twister one, that's been not very strong. And that's probably because it still has time it needs to cure. So I'm definitely excited to melt these ones that are already ready to cure. Because they're already, like, fully strong. Like, I can really smell them just in these little these little bags i can't imagine what the throw is going to be when when you melt them so the nutty plum is this next one butter cinnamon honey orange peel plum sugar vanilla and walnut and like it smells sweet and definitely baked goody but like i don't know i'm just not getting a plum smell like definitely a fruity smell so i don't know i've never really eaten a plum so i don't really know what they smell like to be honest so still good though definitely a big good scent and then just creme brulee on its own so you had creme brulee donuts now we got creme brulee which is just caramelized sugar coconut custard rum maple vanilla and benzoin oh my god that's so yummy i can smell the maple or no, there's, oh yeah there's maple okay yeah oh i could just smell that all day like that's so it's making me so hungry for a creme brulee. Like, I want it. I had it for the first time not that long ago. And I'm like, why was I not eating this so much sooner? These are so amazing. And then we have Aunt B's house, which I'm obsessed with. It's Snickerdoodles and fresh coffee. And I'm still trying to find that scent that my husband loves about coffee. But I love these kinds of coffee scents. So, it's uh, notes of butter, cinnamon, coffee, creme, honey, sugar, and vanilla. Oh, and it literally, it smells like, like a strong pot of coffee and then like a hint of like baked goods. So like one of those really like underground bougie coffee shops, you know, mm, like strong black coffee and then like a little sweet treat on the side. Oh, it just smells so good. I can't believe my husband doesn't like this one. He like, he said, open a Folgers can and smell that and that's what he likes for coffee smell and, and he said he likes the smell of starbucks and i was like i've literally had ones where i've opened them and been like that's starbucks and he's like no i just don't like the baked good part so if i can just 
find a coffee scent that smells like a Folgers can recommends because even like the ones from fantasy wax that i absolutely love that was just straight coffee even that one he didn't like and i don't know why that to him it doesn't smell like that but to me it straight up smells like like this one straight up smells like a folder can and then you had a snickerdoodle next to it like or like a, a cookie next to it or something like some sort of big treat next to it but he doesn't like it so i'm like i don't understand you and your nose and what you think coffee smells like <laughs> like do you even remember what a can of folder smells like <laughs> uh so this one's tropical bunt cake and um butter cake guava lemon peel lemon mango passion fruit peach strawberry sugar vanilla oh that's so yummy oh so yummy Oh, I'm so excited about that one. That was delicious. Like, I love the cakey smell with, like, the fruity. It was, like, the perfectly what I've been looking for. Okay, now these cheesecake ones, though, seriously, I think are my favorites. Because, like, oh my gosh, I love cheesecake. And this one's just strawberry cheesecake, and that's my favorite. So it's orange peel, lemon peel, strawberry, sugar cream, sugar cream, vanilla, and graham cracker. And it straight up smells like cheesecake. And then you get that strawberry scent. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And then you get cheesecake ice cream smell. Like it literally looks like cheesecake ice cream too. And that's caramelized sugar, cream, fruity, banana, graham cracker, honey, lactonic, peach, strawberry, and vanilla. Again, straight up just smells like, like I've had strawberry cheesecake ice cream before and like this straight up smells like it. And it looks like it too. It's just so amazing. And then of course coconut mango. Bits of pineapple and orange give you this sweet rich scent. Sure to relax and put a smile on your face. On your face. I can't speak. Mm. Oh, it smells like um like really good lotion or like I don't even know. Like or like a smoothie. Too. like they're just it's just so good i love coconut smells especially with mango it's so yummy okay and then last but definitely not least is luscious lemon pine pound cake pine cake i can't speak okay so the lemon pound cake this yummy scent is a rich blend of butter cake lemon lemon peel sugar and vanilla again it just sounds like an ingredient list and it's divine I'm actually really into lemon desserts now, by the way. I used to think that they were weird and gross. Like, ew, lemon for a dessert, for a sweet treat? Like, what are you crazy people thinking? And then I had lemon, I think it was lemon cake. It was, it was lemon something. I just can't remember what it was. I'll have to tip in my tongue right now. It was something though. And it was amazingly delicious, especially with this raspberry sauce they had with it. It was so freaking good. And so now all I want to do is try lemon pound cake. Ugh, next time I go to Starbucks, I really need to get lemon pound cake for sure. For sure. But oh my gosh, this is so amazing. This is definitely going to help my um, bathroom scents. It was dwindling down like my basket that I keep all my bathroom scents in where it was dwindling pretty low. So this is definitely going to help. Um, and yeah, I, I'm super excited. I will definitely add these to my next basket, uh, a couple of these to my next basket and definitely try them out and see, um, and let you guys know what I think and, um, and give you guys my thoughts on them. But so far I'm definitely loving, loving this new shop. So this is Twin City Art Sense. I will have them linked below. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.